In this video, we are going to talk about how fast is Divi theme. So if you are planning to use Divi for your WordPress website and you are worried about the page loading speed, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Now, when we use any page builder, no matter Divi, Elementor or any other in the market, the number one issue people face or the number one thing that they worry about is the page loading speed. Because with all these page builders, we get a lot of scripts and various other stuff loaded on our web page, which makes it slow. So when we create a page using Divi, how does it perform? So let's find out. So here we are in our WordPress backend and we have a fresh page. We call, we just named it home page. And now we just go ahead and build this using Divi. So we click here. And now instead of building everything from scratch, we will go ahead and use some ready-made templates so that we can build up that page fast. And here we can import any template. So maybe we can look for a template which we can test. So maybe we can choose this uh, Pottery Studio design. Let's use this as a template. And this is going to take a few seconds to import all the design template in our page. And now we have the complete design added here. So let's go ahead and click on save and let's exit the visual builder. Let's copy the URL of this page and let's open the Google page insight. Let's paste our URL and then analyze. So now right out of the box, this page is getting 72 score in mobile and 96 in desktop, which is pretty decent. And if we do the same test in GD metrics, let's see what the score comes out. And in the meantime, it's fetching our site details. Let me just show you in the back end of our site, we are not using any performance enhancement plugin. And for the GD metrics, this score is pretty bad. So now let's see what we can do to improve this. So here, if we come back in our WordPress backend, in the Divi option here, we go to performance. And here we have improved Google fonts loading and we also have differ additional third party scripts. Let's enable both of them and let's save the changes and see if that makes any improvement. So we will test this again. So now we have a little bit of improvement. We have 71 for mobile and 99 for desktop, which is good. And let's see if we refresh one more time and see if that makes any improvement. So it's, so it always depends on when we are trying to get this data, what is the traffic status of server at that point? Because one more thing is that we are not using any high end hosting. We are just using pretty, pretty basic hosting plans. So that's how it's performing. Now again, we have 73 for mobile and 97 for desktop. And the major point of concern is the LCP score as well as the initial server's response time. And that is something we can easily resolve by maybe upgrading to a decent hosting plan and adding some caching plugin or image optimization plugin. And if we do a retest in GT metrics, let's see how it goes. And here you see we have a grade score with LCP of 1.5 seconds, which is pretty good. And again, we can improve that for sure. Here we can see reduce initial server response time. So that can be fixed easily. And so definitely we are using a very graphic intensive uh, design here. It got a lot of images, a very big size images. And again, we are also not using very good hosting provider. So with all that factors, I would say it's a decent score. And this can be easily improved to 99% by just doing the simple steps like number one, choose a good hosting company. Number two, include a content delivery network. Number three, install a caching plugin. Number four, to add image optimization plugin. But right out of the box, we cannot say that Divi faster than any other page builder. Again, it drills down to various other factors, but we try to keep it as practical as possible. And of course, we can improve this score by doing some simple things. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.